What is the economy for, really? Why do we have an economy in the first place? And, you know, if you look at um, the term economy is the same root as ecology, well, ecology and economy have the same root and comes from Greek oikos, which means the house, the household and the family. So ecology is the study of the house, the, you know, you could think of it the study of where we live, right, the planet, and economy is management of the house. So what is economics and what is economics for? If you look at uh, standard textbook uh, definitions, it says economics is the study of the allocation of limited and or scarce resources among alternative competing ends. And even the language makes you a little bit uncomfortable. First, because there is this frame of insufficiency and scarcity and that there needs to be a competition to get to the little thing we have, right? So even the definition of economy makes you already operate in a frame of mind that might not really be real. I mean, I have a plot in a community garden, and when the tomatoes or the zucchinis come, I tell you we're not talking about scarcity. I mean, there are the birds that are feeding, I have too much on my own, I have to give it to the neighbors. Sometimes the neighbors want to see me coming down with zucchinis, they're trying to avoid me or pretend they don't know me or you know, put some disguise on so that they are not saddled with additional zucchini. So in reality, if you look at nature, abundance is a better metaphor than scarcity. Uh, so what is the economy for? You could think about organizing input, procurement, production, and distribution of goods and services to improve human quality of life and well-being. So in other words, we engage with each other and trade and share the results of our labor because we want to improve our well-being, right? I mean, that's basically why we engage in this. And so at the end of the day, we're doing it to meet our fundamental needs. So what are those needs? Maybe that's a good place to start. Well, we know we have physiological needs, right? We need clean air, clean water. I'm sure I'm a fan of clean air and clean water, and I bet you're too, right? Because we need that to survive. We need nourishing food and we need sleep. But then we also need safety, we need health, we need belonging, and then there are other things like meaningful participation and a sense of contribution to society, self-actualization and expression, and so on. These are considered